Got some parasite free bacon, eggs, <laughs> some. Well, that's nice. My mother in law called me wishing me a happy birthday. Story of my life. Is that the same as dual pricing? You can go pee for free if you live here. Of course, that's his car. I just found the Batmobile. All right. Here's to uh, Italy. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Whoa. Now that is strawberry shortcake. And I don't know, I'm supposed to be getting a salad. What the hell is this? <laughs> Good morning everybody, Paige and Chuck here on the Royal Caribbean here out in the Mediterranean and we are in beautiful Port... <laughs> we are in beautiful Portofino, Italy today. We're going to go roam around. I'm a little hoarse from the air condition. <laughs> Actually, like everybody smokes cigarettes here, like you can't get around it, it's everywhere. Um, yeah, just so much cigarette smoke. But uh, we are going to go explore Portofino today. Today's today I'm ha ha. Today's my birthday. I know happy birthday to me. A lot of people have been sending me happy birthday wishes and I just can't thank everybody, but I want to tell you right here, thank you so much um, for the birthday wishes. But Paige wants to go down to the breakfast buffet and hoping that everybody's already left the ship. But, um, you know, we it's all about what you prefer on the there's a lot of options for food on the ship. You can eat breakfast in the restaurant, there's a little place that we've been eating in the adult section only. Um, there's the buffet, and uh, there's the restaurant. You can eat at the restaurant too. So it's just all a matter of taste, it's of, of your preference, you know. It's not, I mean, if it was only one way to eat, there would only be one way to eat. Let's go have some breakfast. Breakfast. Good morning. Another beautiful day. I'll say me and Paige probably together been over 10 cruises and each cruise is different. So there's a lot of people that share in their experience on the comment section. Our experiences are always different and we always have a good time every cruise. Yeah, still quite a few people here. I think they just want to eat. I think everybody's going to look pregnant when they <laughs> on day number seven. What do you think? Yeah. English bacon, raw bacon, crispy bacon, normal bacon. Yeah, you're gonna have that. We are eating outside, huh? Got some parasite free bacon, eggs, <laughs> some some ham, mm -hmm. ham, ham, and yogurt. Well, that's nice. My mother in law called me, wished me a happy birthday. My kids sent me a text. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go out, roam around, gonna get Brent and Lori. I just, I, I just shared a video today about some of the things in the, um, on the cruise, but a lot of things change, especially after COVID. I'm, you know, I'm thankful that the cruise line even survived all of that. I know it needs some upgrades and stuff like that, but I can't blame them for not really doing it right now because they've been without money for so long. And they were able to come back and employ, uh, people again but um anyway just for some other people that aren't aware and not to get confused on the comment section by others room service menu here if you look down on the bottom it says room service menu has a service fee of $7.95 per room delivery and an 18% gratuity mm -hmm. added to it so Anytime you order room service, the food is free mostly, I think. Certain things are not. You can see here, mm -hmm. American American breakfast is more. 
Um, there's a couple of items that have some fees. But if you want it, it says here that the room service, 18% um, gratuity and $7.95 added. So, but I was just saying that if you had a balcony, it might be worth it to sit on the balcony, have breakfast. Everything has got a fee almost <laughs> on here anyway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or you could just go to the buffet or go to the restaurant or go whatever. But I just wanted to clarify that. Oh, and also I mentioned about the pods. I don't, I call them pods because that's what they called them uh, on the muster. When you get on the boat, you got to go through a little emergency briefing on what happens if there's a problem. Uh, I didn't exactly specify. <laughs> some of those pods are flotation devices, but some of them also are supplies. They're not going to dump you out in a pod without having at least water or, or something. There are, there are emergency supplies in some of those pods as well. So I guess the way I made it sound like every one of those were just supplies, so. The story of my life. Anyway, we're down here waiting for the, uh, for the tender. Love me tender. Brent and Lori. Are you excited for an adventure? Good morning, guys. How was your Good evening? Good morning. I went to bed fat and happy, and I woke up still fat and still happy. <laughs> I think we're all going to look slightly pregnant. So. I looked at, uh, I watched one of your videos this morning, and my, my side profile is growing. <laughs> it's getting a little bigger. Just getting sexier It's like, sexier, holy baby. cow. It's uh, a lot of food. Like, we can eat just pizza today, and that's it. Me too. Yeah, right. I had yogurt. Maybe mashed potatoes. Huh? <laughs> I had yogurt. I had a parfait. I had a crunchy bagel. the same as dual pricing you can go pee for free if you live here e-bike <laughs> yeah, hiking hiking <laughs> what do you gotta do to what do you think you have to do to own a boat like that i think he sells Embezzle. champagne and caviar Embezzle. <laughs> mafia <huh? laughs> that's huge they're beautiful though, aren't they? Now, what do you reckon that boat cost? That is probably about a $7 million boat. Really? I was thinking higher than that. No, it's probably seven, depending on how it's uh -huh. how it's decked out inside seven, uh, maybe up to nine, but I'd be surprised if it's over nine. That is But the next one, bigger. Yeah. This is more super yacht in the... This one. Oh, yeah. this one's probably newer, huh? Yeah, newer, probably in the 20 range. Yeah, that one's probably 20s. Georgetown. This one? That is a like freaking high dollar boat right there. Yeah, I love the sailboat. Wow. How many people you think takes to operate those sails? Oh, they're probably automatic, huh? Some are. I would say four. Uh huh. You hire a captain and he hires three people he thinks he needs. <sighs> wow. I couldn't. I don't understand sailing. I don't either. 
mega yacht. Though. Fishies. Beautiful water. Beautiful cappuccino in Portofino. In the French... I almost spit my cappuccino in Portofino. <laughs> in the, in the, we're still in the French Riviera, right? Yeah. Well, we're, I guess this is the Italian Riviera because we're in Italy. Yeah. But and isn't they call that? Yeah. The whole thing? I think so. The French Riviera, what it is, can. It's like a triangle. Yeah, it's kind of a weird little triangle. Well, for the sake of being silly, I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> because no. I'm a, because I'm an expert European traveler, you know. Please leave it okay. so that we can just play in the comment section afterwards. <laughs> Frolicking in my comment section? Okay. It is fun. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful spot, regardless. Does it really matter? <laughs> anyway, right? It does matter, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go wander around. Do some good at do some jumping and looking. It's a collapsible bike there, but look how big it is. It is a collapsible bike. Yeah. That, you could fit on that one, Brent. Yeah, that's made for my size and my weight. Yeah. And my height. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Very good. Of course that's his car. I think we need to go back to <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it might be somebody's home. It's a bat bat cave or something. I just found the Batmobile. Castle. I mean, I don't know this castle, but in my mind, it's a castle. And I'm not going to find out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This restaurant here looked like it had some good pizza in it, but they're in there eating. We just asked what time do they open and they just shook their head and looked back down. So I guess they don't really care much about if you want to eat there or not. Probably don't, there's a lot of people here anyway. There's a couple more. Yeah, I just want to have some pizza. You think that maybe that's just an American thing or something, but I thought pizza come from Italy, right? You, you had good pizza here, huh? Before? Amazing pizza in Luca and Pisa. But here it's like, maybe it's a touristy thing that I want to give it to you or something. I don't know. We'll walk around the edge. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, we found this cool little corner restaurant with this awesome, beautiful view. And they claim to have pizza, but I see on the door it says American something. American, American bar. bar. American bar. Okay. The great restaurant. So we're gonna see what kind of pizza we get. Last time the pizza thing was kind of a disaster. Yeah, it was a disaster, like not really pizza. It was gross. Like it wasn't even, it 
know. I just feel like pizza is here. Like this is where pizza is. You know, like it came from. I know we modified it with the pan and you know, you know stuff like that. But I feel like you could get pizza here still. And you, you try to ask somebody like, no pizza. Okay, sorry. Maybe they're just where we're at. People ask too many questions. Or something. Well, we're in a port that probably gets tourists, and they they get irritated. I think. But you know, they're here selling Nobody stuff. Nobody's forcing them to work here. I don't, you know, I don't think. No, I don't know. I don't know how it works here. Anyway, yeah, beer would be good. Okay, my birthday's complete. Thanks, guys. And we got pizza. Is everybody happy with their pizza? Wow. Uh, says it's good. That's a lot of pizza. I think we could have split one. <laughs> they said it's only for one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. La Porta Fines. Pizza's good, it's just a lot of pizza. It's a lot of pizza. Well, that might be the first time I've ever seen you not finish a pizza. That's a lot of pizza, isn't it? Yeah. So, there's a little combination to this. Six days of piling on, piling on. Probably I ran out of room. Yeah. My leg is full. You're blocked, huh? My leg is full. Of but very good. It's different, but it's good. Well, before we get back on the ship or make our journey back to the ship, let's take another quick little walk. Even the dinghy is awesome. There's a bear in our room. Oh my god, it's a bear! It's scary. Well, you know what is one really good thing about a cruise ship? It's a nice comfortable bed with a beautiful view and uh, a nap. <laughs> is that what old people do? I'm a little stopped up, guys, so I'm trying to. I'm gonna go get a salad for dinner and a hot toddy. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden have a like a like a cold. So it happens sometimes when I travel to different places. I, I don't know. I don't know what happens. I don't. I don't like it. Anyway, I'm taking medication, and uh, for some reason today I'm like even more stopped up than I was the last couple of days. But Paige is good. I'll be good tomorrow. Hot toddy. Mm -hmm.
I need a hot toddy. Can you hurt? Yes. Brent and Lori are just right down here. This room right here is huge. I think this is one of the biggest rooms. Yeah. They do keep it like sub zero on the ship though. It's really cold, huh? Well, we got the room is temperature controlled. No, I mean, dining. Well, it's not the last day. Tomorrow is the last day aboard. But it looks like everybody's having a good time. It's a little chilly outside. So I know we're coming from Thailand, but do you feel like it's a little chilly outside? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's no humidity. Uh, it's pretty dry, huh? Yeah. Can we play in that? Yeah, I gave it hot mana. Oh, yeah. That'd be good, huh? <laughs> That's probably why there's nobody in there, right? I <laughs> know. That is a rice crispy ball. Rice krispies. That is a chocolate cake ball. Chocolate cake ball. Chocolate mousse. An English triple. Of course it's a triple. An opera cake slice. And you know what that is. Jello. Somebody will say gelatin or jello. Whoa. Now that is strawberry shortcake, and I don't know, I'm supposed to be getting a salad. What the hell is this? <laughs> a lemon curd tart. Okay. Well, let's look at the buffet. Anyway, it's a lot of meats. Macaroni. Always awesome mashed potatoes. Now that looks like a Thai dish. The steak is good, potatoes good. Oh, that's a Yorkshire pudding. I only know this because I've been told it a hundred times. That's nice looking roast beef. Fish, sorry. Spanish fritta. Nice looking. Well, the chicken looks good. Roasted chicken. I've yet to have a hamburger because it just doesn't look good. It just looks like the you know the patty you buy in a frozen patty. The sausage I didn't care for. Macaroni is good. Anyway, I'm here for the salad. Some up there, but it was a big giant chunk of chicken. Or that's like pages. Brent's eating light. Or no, that's plate number one. We'll see. That might be it. <laughs> you always eat light dinner, huh? It's a bird. <laughs> I'm hoping I only eat that. But that's strawberry shortcake. I don't know. Oh, Is there I'm strawberry totally shortcake? Strawberry yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Brent did some. Uh, research and found out it looked really hazy outside like maybe some fires or i don't know sea mist or something but you said it was pollution the old-fashioned regular pollution so was it, did you know what the pollution level is uh it said air quality is poor um, it was like a 72 out of 100 was the so we all kind of got a scratchy maybe it's just we're not used to european pollution I guess, yeah. so. But it has been, I mean, we've been climbing some pretty high peaks, and that's where most of the smoke is. And, uh, yeah. Breathe it heavy. I mean, it says don't stay outside for long periods of time. Uh, we've been outside for... Puffing and puffing climbing stairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I know I didn't get it on the ship, because it seemed like it happened when we yeah. were outside. I was like, yeah, something's, I don't feel right all of a sudden, you know. Oh, uh, we'll be in the city of, uh, 
the clean city of Rome here pretty soon. <laughs> Well, that was good. We've just been sitting what, for like an hour and a half, just catching up, talking, drinking hot tea. I just need some water. Here it is. Boy, it's really happening in there, isn't it? Yeah. Look like an Amway convention in there. <laughs> They did have, no, they have the tags, uh -huh. like it's a, uh -huh. it's a trade show on a boat. Is this open? There you go, there you go. All right. We have a bartender, so it's <sighs> Okay, got some Jameson. Mm -hmm. With your yellow lime. <laughs> With my yellow lime. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's it's Thailand. That's what she explained to me. Yeah, in Thailand, the, Thailand they call limes everything. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no limit. It's only lime. So you want a yellow lime or a green lime? <laughs> so I got stupid, I guess. You're no, you're you're, you're multilingual. <laughs> He's like, huh? Ice cold. What do you want? Well, guys, this has been probably one of the best birthdays I've had in a long time. I appreciate it. It's Normally, with pizza in Italy. Yeah, pizza I mean, Italy. what could you ask for? I mean, right? that, yeah. I mean, I'm so happy I got pizza, and it was good pizza. Yeah. But pizza. It, yeah, it was not just good pizza in Italy, it was good pizza. We had pizza in Portofino. Oh, yeah. How, how awesome is that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a great day. Cheers. 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 And Paige is sitting here drinking a Dos Equis. It's my beer. Somewhere in the Mediterranean mm -hmm. on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. and look, it is the Italian Riviera. Mm -hmm. Look that up too. It yeah. Is? yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. When I was looking up Portofino, yeah. it says part of the Italian Riviera. I don't even know where the hell I'm at most of the time, but French Riviera sounded good. It sounded very fancy. Uh, you or, know. Or Buick Riviera. I have one of those. <laughs> My dad had a Buick Riviera. <laughs> that thing had so many electronics from the 80s. It I, was so bad. I had one that had the old Pontiac 400 in it. The, the, oh, you had a Buick Buick. Yeah. Before they were... Yeah, well, the big body one. Yeah, yeah. yeah the real one. Not, not the one that looked like an Eldorado, right? Then they change it to... Yes. Yeah. The one in the 80s, it was uh, the Riviera. Yeah. It had flip lights. Yeah. I think. Or it just had doubles on either side, yeah. but it was a very chop, like a, like a cougar, like a Mercury. It was the oh, okay. the GM version of the Mercury Cougar. Yeah, tonight was supposed to be the night for the karaoke, but I can't get the vocals just right, so I'm just not gonna do it. Gonna sing? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna sing. Like Maybe that. next time. Bobby Girl. No, I can't do Bobby Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some like a uh, Aretha Franklin. You know, like Garth Brooks. <laughs> go backwards country. All right, guys, we're going to go to our next, our first singer of the night. You already know him. Give it up for Mark. There you go. Come on, Mark. Let's hear it. Yeah, ring of fire. Love. Is a burning flame, and it makes it makes a fiery rain. Found by one the time. The timing's here. I fell into the ring of fire. <laughs> I fell into the burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flame. Oh, it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire I like a good Thai food <laughs> dish <laughs> I smell popcorn I smell popcorn Popcorn is down on deck side oh, Of course it is Down on deck side to this side Okay <laughs> Make it later <laughs> All right, I got a gigantic bag of mm -hmm. Ebola and mm -hmm. some Altoids. I haven't had those in a while. Mm -hmm. I 
I need prop court. Hello. Yeah. Can I have popcorn? Look, they got those sexies and popcorn. And Foster's. <laughs> I can smell it on the other side of the ship. From, from pool. Yeah, I, I smelt it over there. From pool, I was like, I'm coming to take some popcorn. People are coming here from Jama. They say, no, I'm from Jama. Yes, they don't. Really? Oh, wow, okay. Yes, if I can. Would you have a good day today? Yes, baby. Yeah, baby. Tomorrow we're going to go see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Do you even know what I, that is? Uh, it's a Leaning Tower. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> come with us tomorrow uh, to uh, Pisa, Italy. It's going to be super fun. We'll pizza? see you then. Pisa. Pizza. Pisa. Mm, All right. Bye. Bye.